So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we're going to put rain inside our Unity game, just like this, and also how to add the sound effect. So now when we are in the editor, over in our hierarchy, we need to go and add an audio source and a particle system. And I will just take them one at a time. So if we just start with the audio, which is the most simple one, you do have to go and right click and say audio and say audio source. You then need to have a sound in your project, which is some rain. So the way I found an ambient rain sound was inside freesound.org. And you just have to make an account and then say rain. And when I scroll a bit down, I found this ambient rain light and i do think that that sound is okay for the game you can of course go and use a sound that match your game better but when you have the sound you might want to go and make a folder called music or sound effects and then when you are inside that folder you can just right click import new asset and then choose your sound effect so when you have your sound inside your assets you can go and click on the audio source and then over in the audio source you just go and choose the asset or the sound that you just downloaded so in this case it will be this one and just double click it the only thing i need to do here is to say loop just so that it will repeat itself and then for now i can actually go and just delete the old audio i had here but the audio is actually just a little box inside the game and it really doesn't matter where it is because the sound will be the same so you don't have to worry about this as long as you keep these settings so let's set up the actual rain which is just a particle system so just right click and say effects and then say particle system so as you can see inside the game here it looks a little bit funny it is just some particles flowing up in the air so we have to go and do some settings here the first thing you want to do is to go and say on the transform here right click and say reset then it will go to our player here which i do believe is actually just in the middle of the game so the first thing we want to do is to go and adjust the shape so go to shape here and we don't want it to be a cone we want it to be like a box and then you have to scale it up i know in this case to get rain on the whole field here it will be 40 and on the z-axis also 40 so you can see we get like this box that will cover the entire game here so what I can do is just to go and drag it so that it's just above the game and put it up. And it's actually a little bit annoying that we have the other particle system here. So I'll just go and take that to the side here so it don't affect what we're doing right now. But this is how it should look now then. Then in the settings you want to take and enable this velocity over lifetime. And we could go and say that the linear here should be a random between two constants and you could like set it to minus 20 and minus 30. so when that is done you can see we don't actually have that many drops right now so to deal with that we want to go and open the emissions here and you can see rate over time let's go and set this to you could set it to 100 you can see there's a lot more but let's start to set it to 100 so there's a little bit more drops here and then inside our particle system so it is the upper settings here we want to go and enable this 3d start size and again we do want to go and say random between two constants so we get some random rain and we could go and say 0.1 on this one and 0.1 on this one and i can see it's a little bit more stretchy rain that we get instead of just some balls falling from the sky and let's go and set this to two and again also these c axis to 0.1 and 0.1 we then want to go and adjust the color so that it is just a little bit transparent so let's go and put it to like you know like this 190 is okay and then an important thing so that it don't just fall down underneath the actual game we want to go and put the collision here go and click this one 
and expand it and say that the type should not be planes but world and now you can see everything just bounce around so we do want to set the bounce to zero and put the dampen to one and then the lifetime loss here just go and set lifetime loss to like 0.4 so when that is done you can still see that the raindrops is actually on the game for quite a long time so to prevent this we want to go up to the top here and say the start lifetime should just be one and the start speed should be zero so by doing this you can see the drops will disappear so the final thing here is just to go and go to the emissions again and you can see we set the rate to 100 it was just so we could work a little bit better with it let's try to set it to like 500 now so you get even more rain and you could set it to like 1000 so we have a lot of rain and if you want to go and put more than this you do have to go and also increase the max particles here so let's go and test this and see if we miss something so this looks actually pretty good I will just walk around so you can see it. I know my mic is not that good when I also talk while there is some sounds. So you can of course go and play around with the settings but this is just a simple way to just put in some rain inside unity so thank you for watching and go and have a nice day bye